Yo, what's up guys? Out here bringing you a new video on how to do 5 very simple glitches in GTA Online. If this video does help you out, please like the video and subscribe to see more content. See you guys in the video. For the first glitch, I'm going to show you how to get invisible arms. Now what you're going to have to do is complete a casino setup to get the uh, trash collector outfits. And select this first one right here. Now go over to tops and select the overcoat blazers. And then just select no blazer. And you should see that your arms are invisible. Now you can save this outfit and change pretty much everything except for the shirt. And uh, these arms do stick. They do not come back. They will stay invisible. And yeah, you can make some pretty cool outfits with this. So for this next glitch, I'm going to show you how to get the CEO vest. So what you want to do is first of all, come to this spot on the map right here and make sure you have jobs turned on so you can see them. Now register as a CEO and then select the El Jefe style. And you should get this outfit with the CEO vest on. Now walk over to the job and go into it. Now start it by yourself. And on this screen, what you're going to do is exit the job. And when you get back in, go over to the uh, clothing store and go into the clothing rack. Stay on this screen for a couple of seconds and it should pop you out. Now, unregister a CEO and save the outfit. You can now change some stuff. You cannot change the shirt or pants, but you can change the shoes and add accessories. Alright, so this next glitch is going to be how to get the FIB badge. Now what you want to do is go into your arcade and start up the hacking device set up for Lester. If you do not spawn in with this uh, suit, or go into a new session and restart up the setup. And now go over to any ammunition and change outfits to whatever outfit you want the FIB badge on. Now go over to the location it tells you to, kill everyone here, and once you've done that, you should be able to collect the FIB badge. You can now see that it is on your character, so what you're going to do is go back to the ammunition and just save the outfit again. And you can now complete the setup or find a new session to stop doing the setup. If you do find a new session, I would recommend saving the outfit again just in case it did not save. And yeah, that's the glitch. So this next one, I'm going to show you how to get racing shoes on any outfit. So go to the LS uh, car meet and go up to this one right here. And you should be able to get any of these suits. Now what you want to do is buy one that you like the shoes on. So I picked this. So once you've done that, go to any like clothing store. And what you want to do is go to tops, then go to special tops, and go to your arcade tops. And just equip that top. Once you've done this, you should see that the shoes are still there, and now you can change the pants and the shirt again, and anything else on the outfit, and the shoes will stay. So for the final glitch is going to be how to get your crew logo onto a parachute bag. So what you're going to do is go to tops and then go to rolled t-shirts and buy this charcoal rolled t-shirt. Now what you want to do is go down to your crew emblem and purchase the crew emblem on your back. Now go to an ammunition and purchase any of the uh, parachute bags that will have it on. A lot of them will not work but some of them will. So as you can see these will work and a few others will not all of them though so just equip one that you want 
And once you've done this, go over to your interaction menu and turn on parachutes and it should stay. Now you can save the outfit in any slot and yeah, that's this glitch. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video did help you out, please leave a like, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe for more content. See you guys on the next one. Peace.